Hi, Pipe Smokers. It's Paul the Pipe Guy once again. I guess we're just rolling out these videos here. Uh, I hope you guys and girls aren't annoyed by them. Hmm. Well, ah, yeah. <clears throat> if you're like me, and if you like a good classic pipe and a great cigar, you probably like things from the past. Good classic solid things that uh, our grandparents had in their lives or our parents had in their lives. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to do this razor review. I, I know I've talked about this before, but uh, I don't know, maybe three weeks ago, I ordered this razor off of Amazon.com. And it's by Shaving Revolution. It says Shaving Revolution Double Edged Safety Razor. Butterfly open, gunmetal finish, long handle. Includes 10 double edged blades and a razor cleaning brush. All right, so that's the box. All right. So. I bought, uh, actually my roommate bought a cheap $5 one from the dollar store. And he started using it and said that he liked it. And then, I bought mine, but I'm not going to buy a $5 one from the dollar store. Uh, so, uh, I got this by Shaving Revolution. All right, and basically, uh, it's an old school safety razor. So it comes with uh, comes with uh, ten blades, ten blades, which are actually Japanese stainless steel, and the Japanese make really good stuff. Now I think. Now, here's the uh, actual razor itself. And uh, many of you, your fathers and your grandfathers would use these uh, when the it's got an edge on this side and an edge on that side. You basically twist the bottom of the handle. This little clamshell opens up. And voila, there's your razor. Now, back in the day... Uh, which many of you may or may not remember, uh, the way to dispose of these razors when they became dull is you'd open up your medicine cabinet in the back of the medicine cabinet, and any house probably built prior to 1965 had a little slot on the very back of the medicine cabinet that said razor disposal. And it basically was a little slot. You'd slide it through the back of the medicine cabinet. It would fall down into the wall in the bathroom. Okay. So these are extremely sharp. So the way you load these is you basically just set them in there. Make sure they're aligned correctly. And then you close them up. And they're very, very easy to clean. And uh, so I bought this one started using it and uh, I asked my roommate how's he doing with his and he's like uh, I, I don't like it I'm not using it anymore uh, it's cutting me well you can't go from side to side you have to go straight down and so most men's beards grow in a downward fashion so this is with the grain if you're shaving upwards that's against the grain just like under your neck, on your chin, and so forth. So if you're doing it with that method, you have to be careful. I would definitely recommend, and it says in the owner's manual, to start shaving this way. All right, you're not going to get as close of a shave, but after you get comfortable with this razor, you can start shaving against the grain, and you'll hold your skin and so forth. And this 
has given me the closest shave I've ever had. Uh, and I like it because it's a, it's a timeless classic. These have been around since probably the turn of the century, uh, these safety razors. And uh, this one comes in gunmetal blue. I think the actual razor is made in China, but the blades are made in Japan. But it's great quality. So I bought this. I've been using it. And uh, found I only have to shave about every other day. I mean, my beard down through here is very thick. On the sides, not so thick. This gets it close. And I'm shaving against the grain now. And I haven't cut myself once. So, um, so you basically just shave for a little bit. You can use shaving cream. I just use hot water. I'll just turn the hot water on and dip my razor in it. Then just kind of dip it under the sink in the bathroom and it washes all the exfoliation and hair out of it. Um, so I got this one and then uh, I thought, you know, my 17 year old son might like this. So I sent him one and they do come with 10 blades uh, and he fell in love with it. He says, oh my gosh, dad, my face is so smooth. It's better than any razor. I mean, some of the razors have two blades, three blades, four blades, five blades, and they're expensive. You know, this this was $16 on Amazon. And with Amazon Prime, it was at my door, free delivery in two days. So what I ended up doing is I ended up getting an additional 50-pack of these blades that are shaving revolution blades uh, made out of they're the platinum series japanese stainless steel double-edged 50 count right there that's what they are all right so um he loved it so much and then his sister his 18 year old sister was like can i just try it on the bottom of my leg with your razor and he's like sure and she texts me, she's like, Dad, I have to have one of these. They make my leg so smooth. So I ordered her one. She's been using it for about a week now. She loves it. So anyways, uh, it's just such a quality razor. I mean, even though it may be made in China, which I think it is, uh, it's very high quality. I love the gunmetal blue color. And uh, the blades are Japanese stainless steel, which are extremely sharp. You can get two, three shaves out of these. And then, you know, I mean, so for a total of 26 bucks, you get 60 freaking blades. That'll last like, what, a year? Anyways, I love classic things. My closet is full of double breasted suits with uh, pants that are cuffed on the bottom, meaning they have a cuff that's sewn up. I don't like the man bun type of, and if you have a man bun, I'm sorry, all right? But I don't like the man bun type of suit that has one button here, it's not double-breasted, tight pants. That seems to be the fashion thing nowadays, I don't know. I'm not into that. If I wear a suit, I wear a classic, Italian made wool double breasted suit. And I look like mafiosa. <laughs> so anyways, we'll probably be doing some singing later on tonight. I'd like to hear uh, if any of you have any requests. Because uh, if I can do it, I'll do it for you. So uh, Paul the Pipe Guy will be singing later. I want to hear your requests ram in all those requests i'd like 20 or 30 requests and i'll see what i can do all right anyways shaving revolution on amazon double edge safety razor buy one today yeah you'll love it trust me you will paul the pipe guy i want to hear any song recommendations yes this is a pipe channel a tobacco channel, and also a my singing channel, too. So, <laughs> Paul the Pipe Guy, live from Rochester, New York, over and out. <laughs>